We begin with breaking news tonight. A federal judge ordering Boeing to be arraigned on a felony criminal charge. The charge stems from the deadly crashes of two 737 MAX jets. One of those crashes claimed the life of a local man. CBS 2's Jermont Terry spoke with his family tonight. He joins us now. Jermont, the family's hoping for some justice. They are, Joe and Erica. It's going on nearly five years, and tonight there is word that the Boeing company uh, has been ordered to appear in court for a possible criminal charge, a charge those who lost loved ones, including the Matson family, claim is long overdue. 189 people died back on October 2018 in Indonesia shortly after takeoff. Then five months later in March 2019, an Ethiopian Airlines flight crashed, killing 157 passengers. On board, Antoine Lewis from South Suburban Madison, tracing his family roots. And he was hoping to decide between Ethiopia or Kenya. Soon after Lewis's death, the Boeing 737 MAX passenger airline was grounded for a year and a half worldwide. Antoinette Lewis believes her brother's death could have been prevented if Boeing wanted to. The plane should have been investigated to the point of stopping its production because they already knew what the issue was. Boeing has paid some settlements to the victims' families, yet the former Chicago-based company was immune from criminal charges until now. A federal judge out of Texas has ordered the company to be arraigned for a possible criminal charge for all 346 who were killed. It's definitely, it's about time. Nearly four years after the Lewis's family was ripped apart, his sister hopes the right people at Boeing will be held accountable now. I believe it should go to the very top. Boeing all alone insisted the two plane crashes with the same mechanical problems were pure accidental and insisted Boeing was not negligent. Yet this order to appear in court leaves families like the Lewis hopeful they will get justice. I want my brother's killers, and that's basically how I see Boeing, knowing that they were putting bad planes up in the air. I want them to feel the brunt of what they did to all of the families, not just my we did reach out to Boeing to get their response to this order to appear in court. They had no comments, but it's likely they will have plenty to say when they step before a federal judge next Thursday in Texas. Live in the control room tonight, Jermont Terry, CBS2 News. Yeah, a major development tonight. Jermont, thank you.